Okay, I'm at Lava Beds National Monument. I'm obviously at the entrance to a cave. Before I go in there, I want to show you something cool. I suspected there might be a cave here. I've never found this cave before, but um, check it out. Look at that. There's a hole right here. I, so I could tell this cave down there. It's just this two hole, it'd be too hard for me. But I could look in here and I could see which way the cave goes, east and west. So I basically decided, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk around the ground, see if there's another entrance to this cave. Yeah, it'd be too hard for me to try to climb down here. I could probably drop in, but not get back out, which is obviously a very bad idea in case that's the only entrance. Yeah, I don't, I doubt it's a very big cave. I don't even see a sign at the entrance saying what the name is. But anyway, as long as I'm here, marked it on my GPS, I'll go ahead and check it out. Then maybe we can ask around if anybody knows anything. Let's see here, if I can go through here. Now, lava beds obviously had a big wildfire a few years ago. Part of it, you're not allowed to go off trail. Part of it, you are. Obviously right here, we're allowed to go off trail. But not too many people come over here because, well, it's not really any tourist caves over here. Interesting. As you can see, there's a lot of little um, trees down here. So, you know, before the fire, this would have been a little harder to find. I've been here before, near here before. So. But I'm pretty sure I never found this cave. Not on my GPS. Ooh, so there's that other entrance. Let me uh, pan up. Turn on a flashlight. Wow, nice wall. Oh wow, I think this is everything. No wonder there's no name tag. There's like nothing here. Yeah, cool little side area. Well, it's funny, I see natural light ahead, but it looks like it's too small to fit. Oh, come on. My flashlight. Oh, cool. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, so my flashlight's a piece of junk. Look at that. There's a hole in the rock. Darn it. My flashlight's on strike. <sighs> All right, there we go. Let me see if I can go underneath here and look through the hole the other direction. Oh, it's not easy. There it is. Cool. Yeah, obviously that's a bit fragile. So if you see something like that, don't touch it. We don't want to break it. Okay, so here's a little bit of room back here. Nothing particularly interesting. Obviously a very tiny cave. There is natural light through here. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I can't fit through there. I'm not gonna fit through there. Well, well, I could probably do this cave without light. Huh. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to climb up out this way. So it's a darn good thing there's more than one entrance. Look at this. It's winter. So there's like a, a patch of snow, like two inches tall, six inches long. Baby glacier. Alrighty then. I'm leaving footprints. I'm trying to be gentle, but I'm kind of walking through here. And it's sloped ground. Yeah, so it's one nice big room. See, if you were a caveman, this would be a good place to light a fire. Because you'd have ventilation, but you'd have protection from the rain. Anyway. Slipped on a loose rock. All right, then. Well, gee, that was kind of anticlimactic, but I've definitely seen better caves. So as long as I'm here, let me go over here to the left. I see something suspicious. No, just a bunch of rock. Yeah. All right. 
So there's the mystery cave. 